So, I realized today another piece of the bigger picture. I'm not have been sent to help. It's part of it's something that all the religions, all the people that are searching in their own lives, day to day, for meaning, for understanding. I've been understanding for a while now. Part of the reason why I'm here. I've just not come out and said it. I've said to people I know, people that I've talked to, no, I'm not playing Jesus this time around. So over the last few years things have been pretty quiet, which is been my three days in the cave, which has been the time in the whale. I guess I wouldn't follow the path that I'm here to, to walk. To understand, well, what, are, what is the meaning of life? Your thoughts. The answers in the question are a lot of things. We're distracted in systems by people who are also trying to understand why they're here. They think it's chaos and they're trying to make sense of chaos. They try and put order into chaos try and structure chaos. Chaos is everything that you don't understand. Once you understand that chaos is actually order, that you've just not figured out yet, chaos is not that scary. To understand chaos and your thoughts and why you're here. You need a key. If you're going to go on a journey, and life is a, is a journey, you tend to need a map. You populate that map with events in your life. But you, the map is a key. There's a, on, a, on a map, there's a key. I have the keys that other people can use to find their map. There's many things that are individual to your own perspective. If there's six people sat around a table looking at a glass on the table, it's the same glass. But all of the perspectives are different. You each see it from a different angle. But to understand the glass, we need to know what a glass is. Maybe it's material, the different things that you could do with it. If you don't already know that, then it's just a mysterious object. It's a mystery. It's life that you've just not figured out yet. So I have the keys that you can use to understand life, whatever your background, religion, because the universal keys, the keys within this universe. So that's why I'm here. To take the complex, the chaos, to simplify it, to show you the keys. Anyone who's had a particular piece of chaos, something that they didn't understand, 
And then somebody said to him, well, it's a bit like this. Oh yeah, I understand it now. In a, in a few moments, stitched together, you can move from chaos to order. Your order is still somebody else's chaos. And that's in the sharing place. That's why we're here to share. To understand your own journey. while everybody else has taken their own journey. And there's too much structure that denies the individual journeys. For instance, it's like the, the people who are trying to make sense of, of, of trying to instill some order of governments and structures they all want you to be on their train whereas actually you're on your own train it's your train of thought you have to understand that everybody's different we need a structure that accepts chaos understands chaos and can bridge the gap between order and chaos that flows. I have those keys, I have that structure. I've been shown that, I've been given that. I create that. I know this. Over time. Perception of time. So that's why I'm here. I keep saying, making order from chaos, and should order turn back into chaos, which is easily done. You think you understand something, something happens, and you don't understand it. You've moved from order to chaos in a few moments. If you need help understanding the world, your life, whether you be an individual, whether you be a government, I'm here to help. That's why I've been sent. We all have a path. They intertwine. It's chaos until it's order. <laughs>